Watch you guys got another video here for you. It seems the Windows 10 is not done yet and it's fighting back. There's lots of people that are stuck on Windows 10 and they can't upgrade to Windows 11, but it seems that Windows 11 was overtaking Windows 10 and it seems that Windows 10 is now fighting back and becoming more popular once again. So let's discuss it further after a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, or even office keys, then check out CD Key Sales. All you need to do is create an account on their website, choose your product or use the links in the video description, click buy now, and then you need to use my promo code to get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. It's capital B, capital R, 09, apply that to your order, and you will see a 30% discount on your purchase. In USA, you can see there, and also UK, it's quite a big price difference. Once you submit your order, they will then send you your key. You can use that key to either upgrade from Home Editions to Pro, or you can use it to activate your version of Windows like you see on the screen. Check out the links in the video description for more details. So let's get back to the video. We can see the stats counter is still in favor of Windows 11, but look what's happened right here. In July, we had 53.51%, and it's now dropped down to 50.5% in August. And we're not to the end of August yet, so that could come down even more. And yet, let's take a look at Windows 10. That was on the decline quite badly. And you can see right here, when we dropped down, it went down to 42.88% in July. But let's take a look at August. Already, it's up to 45.72%. That's quite a climb for an operating system that is reaching end of life. So why is this? Well, it could be the fact that a lot of people are using the extended support for Windows 10, which means they are staying on Windows 10. They've gone back to it. Maybe they tried Windows 11 out and they didn't like it, and they went back to Windows 11, which they're entitled to do. Maybe it's a case that some people are now using Windows 10 LTSE or Windows 10 IoT LTSE versions to be able to extend the life cycle of Windows 10. It's quite unusual to see a graph go up in popularity for an operating system that is on the decline and going down and reaching end of life. And this is the predicament that Microsoft are in. Many people cannot upgrade to Windows 11 because their hardware requirements don't allow them to. And this puts millions of computers uh, basically in a difficult position where they either change to another operating system like Linux, or they can go to Windows 10 Enterprise Editions like LTSE versions or even IoT LTSE versions. Some people are willing to take the risk and go to those versions rather than upgrade to Windows 11. Because let's face it, Windows 11 hasn't been the best operating system from Microsoft when it comes to uh, problem-free computing. There's been lots of bugs, lots of issues with Windows 11. There's been lots of controversy with Recall, and there's also Copilot being embedded in just about everything you can think of. Whereas Windows 10 is pretty lightweight once you de-bloat or turn off a lot of the privacy settings, and it's not as heavy as uh, you know Windows 11. Windows 11 seems to be quite a heavy, resourceful operating system on older hardware, whereas Windows 10, whereas Windows 10 seems to work perfectly fine on old hardware. It's not so much as a resource hog. So you can see once you turn a lot of these features off, Windows 10 is quite snappy uh, compared to Windows 11. Now, Windows 10 Consumer Extended Security Updates, ESU for short, is going to be offered to people. And this is going to give them a lifeline to be able to use Windows 10 up until October 13th, 2026. There is a way to get it for free, but there's also a $30 charge if you don't want to go through all of those hoops. You can see the consumer ESU program costs literally no additional cost if you sync your PC with PC settings using OneDrive. You will need to sign into a Microsoft account to be able to utilize that offer. You can also redeem 1000 Microsoft reward points to be able to get it for free as well. And most people have that in their Microsoft account if they've signed into a Microsoft account at some point and used it. Uh, also, there's a one-time purchase fee of $30, which we mentioned. But again, you are going to need to sign into a Microsoft account to be able to enroll into the ESU program. 
A lot of people are complaining, saying they haven't even had notification to enrol in the ESU program, and the clock is ticking. And it should look something like this. I've been waiting to have this pushed out to me so I can make a video on it, explaining and showing you how to enrol and how to get, uh, you know, basically extended security updates for free. But even I haven't had uh, the enrollment offer yet. So maybe uh, Microsoft are holding off and pushing it out in stages as they normally do, and maybe we'll get it as soon as Microsoft push it out. Now, Windows 10 Enterprise LTSE 2021 edition, there's plenty of these floating about, and these have support up until January 12th, 2027, which I think is probably what a lot of people are starting to use. There's also other editions like IoT LTSE versions, which are heavily stripped down versions, which are meant for devices and things like that. I've made videos explaining what these versions are. But again, this is supported up until 2032, which is quite a long way away. The only problem with these versions of Windows is they are stuck on a feature version, i.e. this version is 21H2. This means that version will never be updated to 22H2. It will be stuck on 21H2, but you would still receive security updates from Microsoft. So that is what these versions are. They're long uh, term licensing. So basically, a lot of people are probably going down this route because they can extend the life of their PC. A lot of people haven't got the money to buy a new computer and they're saying that their computer is not ready for landfill yet. So they're willing to go down this route and use an LTSC or IoT LTSC versions of Windows 10. Some people are just extending uh, the license for another year to get security updates as well. So it's probably not gone to plan as much as Microsoft wanted. Not as many people now are transitioning over to Windows 11. Maybe some people have and they've gone back because they don't like it. But I can honestly say I'm pretty shocked to see that Windows 10 has actually took an upshift and gone up instead of keep going down because normally that is the way it goes. Normally Windows, once it's on the decline and it's starting to reach end of life, it starts to decline quite rapidly. But all of a sudden we're seeing a massive upshift for Windows 10 users. And this has put Microsoft in a very awkward position, especially if people start staying on Windows 10. People just want stability and they want performance. They don't want to be bombarded with unwanted apps or adverts or nagging pop-up screens and a heavily bloated operating system like Windows 11 is. So I'm not sure what Microsoft are going to do. They're going to have to take a long, hard look because if that number keeps climbing, it could be the fact that people just may avoid Windows 11 altogether and just stay on Windows 10. Now, I know you have to take these graphs with a pinch of salt, but it will be interesting to see that in a month or two where Windows 10 is sitting and whether it's still climbing or whether it suddenly shoots back down again, because these graphs are not 100% accurate. Anyway, just a bit of tech news for you today. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Link is in the video description. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.